We are now a few weeks away from celebrating the quincentennial anniversary of Christianity in the Philippines. The opening of the year-long celebration will be on Easter Sunday, April 4, with a 4 p.m. Mass to be held simultaneously throughout the Cebu Archdiocese, where they will also be unveiling and blessing the Jubilee Cross. Before the main event, there will be a Triduum celebration from April 11 to April 13. Aside from celebrating the Holy Mass, a motorcade procession of the Jubilee Cross and cultural shows during the three days, they will also hold a baptism of 100 children on April 11, a confirmation of 100 individuals on April 12, and a rite of Christian initiation of 100 adults on April 13. During the main event on April 14, there will be a reenactment of the first baptism at 10 a.m. and of the second baptism at 3 p.m. in front of the Magellan's Cross. This will be followed by a Mass at 4 p.m. to be celebrated by the Papal Noon Show to the Philippines, Archbishop Charles Brown, with a renewal of the baptismal promises. also baptism of 10 children and these children would comprise those who are recipients of the apostolate of the first five major religious congregations that first arrived in Cebu. One would be a street child, another would be a child from the Eta, and another child who would be baptized, who would be a foreigner. Only a maximum of 700 people are allowed at the Plaza Subbu by the IATF, but the church only plans to limit the crowd to 500 attendees. In case the national government decides to discontinue the public gatherings, Cebu's church leaders will abide by their recommendations. On April 15, there will be a blessing of the third bridge and another cultural show on April 17 at the Santo Niño Basilica Templete. The different cultural shows for the celebration carry the title, Lima Kagabii Alang sa Lima Kagatus na Katuigan sa Pagtuo. The first show, El Camino a las Filipinas, will highlight the different connections between Spain and the Philippines. We are trying to, we will be trying to connect what happened in Spain and in the Philippines and do a research. We did a research already and we're able to like make the connections from the Philippines to Spain. Uh, and a study after 500 years, we have completed already the circumnavigation ourselves. It's more of the, the spread of the faith, not only here, but also we are become the one, we, are, we have become the ones spreading the faith all over the world. The second show, Kairos et Kronos, will be a presentation of the liturgical seasons. The third show, Musica Sacra in 500 Voices, will showcase the compositions of famous Filipino liturgical composers to be sung by different choir groups. The fourth show, Credo in Unum Deum, will center on the importance of baptism. And the last show, Paseo del Niño, will present how the devotion to Señor Santo Niño has spread from Cebu to the other parts of the Philippines and the world. Different publications and online sites have also been launched in line with a quincentennial celebration of Christianity in the country, such as the Lantawan Magazine by the University of San Carlos. The Cebu Archdiocese also launched their official websites, archdioceseofcebu.ph and 500yoc.com, showing updates of the different activities of the celebration, as well as articles and videos about the Catholic faith. They also have their Facebook page for live events and posts, their YouTube channel for reflection videos and homilies, their Instagram account for inspirational photos and infographics, and their Twitter account for important information. Fifteen years ago, St. John Paul II had already foreseen the potential of the new technologies, not only to enable the sharing information, but also to facilitate interactive communication. 
At the present, during this pandemic, we have experienced how these powerful technologies have now become the most important media for information and communication. For this reason, we in the Astasis of Cebu would also extend our mission online, making the faith also present in the virtual world. As it were, to plant a cross, so to speak, in the digital sphere. This has been Andrea Patanya Matthew for My TV Cebu.